If you or someone you love has the pup pregnancy rash, you might be spending hundreds of dollars right now on different creams and eczema creams and all sorts of topical steroids and all this stuff that actually doesn't work at all. In this video, I'm going to share the three things that actually worked to alleviate the rash and they're all natural, very affordable rem remedies. And so you don't have to mess around with getting all sorts of stuff that doesn't work. I'm Ali and I am a yoga and meditation educator and I'm a survivor of the pregnancy rash. It was terrible. I feel you, I feel your pain. Um, and apparently it was the worst pregnancy rash my doctor's ever seen. <laughs> um, so my specialty is actually in sleep support and yoga nidra. So uh, if your rash is currently keeping you up at night or giving you insomnia, then please know that I have prenatal yoga nidras specifically to help you go to sleep and to help you relax. Uh, if you're interested in that or doing some prenatal yoga with me, just hit the subscribe button now. So I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, but about six months ago, I posted my first YouTube video, which you can find here, about how I healed my pregnancy rash. And since then, I've had so many women reach out to me, DMs, emails, comments, telling me that that information is working for them as well and healing their rashes. So I'm just putting as much information out there right now as I can to help people, um, pregnant women, to heal this rash because it's the worst. It's the absolute worst. Um, so know that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I say that in each video because I am just a person who had pups rash and figured out how to heal it uh, naturally without um, medication. So um, when I was figuring out to he how to heal, I vowed that I would share this in solidarity to other women who are suffering. So please make sure that you contact your healthcare practitioner. There is a rash that you should definitely be checked for. You need to get your liver enzymes, your blood work done um, to make sure that you don't have one of these other more serious pregnancy rashes. Um, so I'm going to share the only things that work topically um, because the most important thing is actually healing the rash from the inside out and I talk about that in this video on what foods to eat, in this video on what to drink, and uh, in my first video of course. So my hope is that you can follow these tips and help to manage the rash in the short term um, and then be rid of the rash for good but for healing internally. Um, so leave me a comment below, let me know what your experience has been so far with um, the rash, have you been able to source helpful information? For many of us, it was very, very difficult. Um, so let me know in the comments below what your experience has been. So I wasn't a typical third trimester situation. I was like seven weeks pregnant when my rash arrived and I knew I could not survive my whole pregnancy with those symptoms. They were just so bad. I could not stop itching my skin. And when it did, it felt like I was being stung by hundreds of fire ants, like hundreds of fire ants biting me at once. Um, so here's my skin now. I just want you to know it's 100% possible to heal before you give birth. It took me a couple of weeks to heal the rash completely, but also I've been um, getting messages from women who have had the rash postpartum and been able to heal their rash with the same information. So here's how you can manage the itch, but know that it will not cure your rash. It will just alleviate your symptoms a little bit. You need to heal it from the inside. Step one, do you wanna bathe with baking soda? So running a bath as lukewarm or as cool as you can stand, because at first hot water is going to be um, awful. Eventually you'll be able to do warmer and then hot water, but at first you need to keep it cool or lukewarm. And then half a cup of baking soda and soak in the bath for 10 minutes to half an hour don't add Epsom salts to your bath. Trust me on this one, it'll feel like your whole body's like tingling and stinging and on fire. Um, so if you don't have a bath, uh, please watch this video where I share about how to work with baking soda in your rash if you don't have a bathtub. So I highly suggest that you get um, into a baking soda bath and watch the full video in the bathtub. <laughs> Step two. Another great relief comes from pine tar soap. So this is one thing that actually is out there on the internet that people are talking about and it really does work. So uh, I talk specifically about how to use the soap about five minutes into this video. 
uh, and you use the suds of the soap on your skin and gently pat this, the suds all over your skin, all over the rash. You let it sit for a few minutes, ideally like five to 10 minutes, and then you rinse off with cool or warm water um, or as, as warm or cool as you can stand in the shower um, because hot water again makes the rash worse. Uh, or you can then hop into your baking soda bath right after that. Um, and I'll post a link below to the soaps that I used and they're super affordable and they really, really work. Um, so you can also find them in my blog post. I'll post that below as well. Step three. Pure aloe vera can be really, really helpful for this rash. So I was actually using it before I started, before I found the baking soda and the pine tar soap, and it was doing nothing. And before I started healing my rash from the, uh, the inside out, and it was doing absolutely nothing. However, once I started taking those other measures and doing those other protocols, the aloe vera was super key. So once I got out of my baths with my pine tar soap and my ba baking soda, I'd put the aloe vera all over the rash and it really helps to soothe the sort of hot, angry skin. Again, it's not going to do anything until you start working with foods and drinks. So when you do start working with foods and drinks, it's important to um, keep your fats as low as possible um, for the majority of the day and then use healing foods and drinks that I talk about in these other videos. Um, and that will calm your rush and get rid of it for good. So I talked about why this is so vital to get rid of, rid of this rash in my video testimonial for the book Liver Rescue by Anthony William. So whether you love him or hate him, um, you may want to watch this video uh, because that book really was um, a total lifesaver for me. Uh, so if you want to know more about the book, I've got a, a link to it as well in my blog post and you can watch my full video on my testimonial about Anthony's book. If you are having insomnia or sleep issues from this rash, I've got lots of resources for you on my channel. Uh, I've got sleep meditations specifically for pregnancy and it's been allowing my clients to sleep like babies. So I'll also post a link below so that you can get a free download to some of my longer, more in-depth insomnia pregnancy meditations. If you're a total nerd about researching stuff like I am and you wanna learn even more about the rash and how to heal it through Ayurveda, you can check out this video here that I made as well. Um, and also if you have any pregnant friends that might benefit from the yoga nidras, the pregnancy meditations or prenatal yoga with me, please send them my channel. Uh, I would so appreciate that. I love connecting with other pregnant women and it's just beautiful. So um, please share my channel, that would be lovely. And know that all of the information that you need from my first video is right here. Uh, yoga Nidra for pregnancies to help you sleep is here. Meditations and uh, yoga videos here. And all of my prenatal and postnatal resources can be found on my website, alibuthred.com. Thank you so much for watching this video and good luck healing your rash.